never claimed to have much money. No mission do I own. There are those who criticize me, but at least I'm not alone. Cause I got friends in all my family, and they love me for who I am and not what I'll be. There are those who curse and lose you, even the winner. But as for me, we only have one life. Let someone live it. Why don't day number two, the first first day of, of checking here, uh, January 29th, and uh, we just went to the first farm and nothing in the traps today, which you'll have that a lot, especially with coyotes. So, uh, this is JW. It's Tommy. And we're signing out till we get to the next spot. Catch you down the road. Well, here we are. Getting ready to remake a set here. Uh, got a fire trap. <clears throat> Looks like a deer might have stepped in it. And I uh, fired it off. They got tapered feet, so they just pulled right out of them. So we're gonna do a remake here, and Pops is gonna video it. Give me some peat moss out of here. Everything's good. Set that back down in there. Make sure that we got some peat moss in the bottom for so we don't freeze to the ground. That would be good. Yeah, there's no bear on this trap, so it's probably a deer. How'd you set that with your hands? That's one and three quarter. Yeah, one three quarter sleepy creek. Tell us again. Want to see again? Yeah. Wait a minute. You want to take your thumb, put it on this one like this. Take the ball of your hand right here. Stick it right there. Leverage it down. Push, take the dog, push it down and pull your pan up. Cool. You want to set your pan? I like to set my dog about halfway in the groove there. <clears throat> Regular down in here. Regular? Regular down. <clears throat> TP comes in handy. On there. Okay, right. Yeah. So you don't get no dirt underneath your pan and that way your pan will go down, you can trap will go off on it. <clears throat> Usually I just pour this on there, but <clears throat> got some chunks in it, so I'll run it through the shifter here. Pound this down here. Get my backing right here. It's down there. Down there. With our yellow here, find our pan.
And right there where your pan is, it's a little lower than the rest of the area. Yep, a little tapered step down. So it goes like this, and there's a little, right here is a little divot down so that whenever they sit down, they commit all their weight to the pan. Like going down. Just like going downstairs. You're going down a stair, you next step, all your weight goes on it. You already committed to go down. So when they step on that, there's no coming back to pull out of it. Now, Makes sense. I'm going to take a little dirt, just a little bit, put it in here. Semi dry. Yeah. I'm just going to blend it. Just enough to, on top to blend it, right? Yep. Not enough to freeze. Nope. That should be good. How much lure do you put in? I I uh I could put in just a good squirt and maybe a little bit on my backing. And that's a remake, folks. Tighten up my backing here. And that's how you remake a coyote set. got a trail coming out through and I'm sure deer use it too uh, this is the second day in a row that a deer came through and his leg hit my snare and knocked it down now if you take a good look here real close if a deer would get his foot inside the loop we have the breakaways here so there that's all it takes to set that back again so that's why I love snaring super easy but you gotta you gotta put them in the right spots be meticulous about exactly where they're at so we're off to the next farm Hey, we're headed back to uh, back along the fence here and back along the woods and uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, three snares set back this way and we're going to go check them now and I happen to hear a squirrel barking up here close to one of my sets so that might be a, a plus for me. <laughs> Let's go. see it or not underneath of that log I've got a snare set or in case they come down the trail and they'll good chance a coyote could jump over the log but it's also a good chance he'll scoot underneath of it let's go down to the next one I got a set right up there. I got one before that, but I got one right up there. And blue jays are going bananas. Okay, I got another snare coming by this trail where they're skirting by this tree. snare there. I had some good luck here last year with this uh, location. This is a check one on this set right here. 
okay. Okay, we have the third and final set right here where this trail this trail narrows down between the high weeds and the fence. It's just a matter of time before we get something in this set. All right, well back to road. Well, just pulled up here to the. Um, the old house where I had uh, the snare set and uh, got us another red box in the snare. I'll go tend to the snare here and uh, get back with you. Okay, here's my final remake. That's the uh, path that the canine will have to take through right here. There's my snare. See if I can get a little closer. There's my catch. Another nice male. Alright, so we're going to go over here and check his DP. Dog proof coon trap. Dog proof coon trap. Oh, I had it. I had it set. Right here. Oh, got me on it. See, I got it around that there. Oh, yeah. The post need underneath the stairs there. You hold this lower here, Pop. <laughs> Get in here. Try to dispatch him here. So you want to get this side over here. Now here's a catch on that DP. It's just a toe catch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. But it's all you need on these, really, because they uh, keeps the circulation up above. So. Yep. Okay. There's a nice coon on the DP. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. 